What is your take on your success so far? Because you experienced it at Double A and now at Triple A. Um, you know, I'm not really sure. I just think a lot of hard work, honestly. Um, if uh, you know you dream big and you work hard, I think good things happen. And um, you know, I wasn't always blessed with the the crazy tools or anything like that. But I think hard work really you know can make up for a lot of that. And um, you know, good coaches. You know, a lot of good people have my best interests in mind and uh, are willing to work with me. And um, like I said, I think. Hard work really, um, you know, it's kind of paid off. And defensively making the switch, you always played right field, and then when you got to the minor leagues, you, you played a season in right field, but now you're at second base. How's that transition been going from the outfield to the infield for you? It was tough. At first it was tough, but, um, you know, you put an outfielder in the infield, it's not going to be pretty, especially in professional baseball where things are happening faster. and Every level gets faster, so, um, you know, I've, I've worked extremely hard and um, definitely feel the most comfortable I've, I've, I've ever felt at second base and feel awesome. I feel as comfortable in second than I do as in, in right field, so um, I'm, I'm excited for the future. What specifically are you working on in the infield? Yeah, I think double plays right now are my strongest, um, you know, kind of kind of part of my game right now at second base. Uh, I feel like I can turn them with the best of them right now, um, you know, and um, I don't know, just getting better better jumps and things. I think you can always get a little bit better at every part of you know, defense in your game. So I just, overall, I want to get a little bit better at everything. Now, how about your pedigree? Because in college, you went to a great collegiate baseball program, and you won the College World Series MVP, and then and then you're here, you're in the Yankees organization. I feel really blessed I, I went to the University of Arizona. Now, I think the things I was able to accomplish in college was just mostly from hard work. Um, I had a key to our batting cage. It was right behind my dorm my freshman year. And um, I played a lot of sports in high school, so I kind of went to Arizona really raw. I, I mean, I didn't really know what position I was going to play or where I was going to fit in. But, uh, you know, I, I sacrificed a lot of social, you know, opportunities, social things in college and, and um, you know, growing up to try to get better at, you know, all sports and baseball. So there would be countless Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, even games after games uh, when I was playing in college that, I'd open up the cage and I'd hit for you know two hours, two and a half hours. I'd bring my stereo and I'd I would just hit me and my <laughs> myself, you know. And I'd hear people going out and having a good time. And um, you know I sacrificed a lot of things, so um, I feel blessed to be in the opportunity right now and kind of knocking on the door. But um, you know I, I kind of remember where I, where I came from and I think that's what drives me most. And um, obviously I don't think I could accomplish anything of those without my parents and um, you know hard work. One of the things that you mentioned was your work ethic day in and day out. But when I was speaking with Luis before, he said that that's probably the thing that he loves about you most, is that you always have fun, you always work hard, first person in, last person out. He said it kind of reminded him of Derek Jeter. Mm -hmm. Now that's a guy that you grew up, loved to watch play, and really inspired you. How much did Derek Jeter and watching him play a role in your baseball career? I mean, just growing up, you kind of looked to, for people, like role models, to kind of gravitate towards him. You know, he. he seems to do everything right and um, he's got a great reputation amongst uh, fans but I think most importantly to be a good athlete and you gotta have respect of uh, kind of your peers and uh, other athletes and things like that and I think you know guys tipping their cap to Jeter I think that's just kind of a true testament of what kind of person he is and I've had a couple you know real brief conversations but uh, you know he doesn't have to really talk to us minor leaguers you know but he does and it's been fun watching him and all the success he has because I think deep down to his core, he's a good person. When you did have those interactions with him, was there any sort of piece of advice that he gave that really stuck out with you? No, man, he just kept it loose, he kept it fun. You never know when it's gonna be over, uh, especially in AAA. I've learned like, man, careers can end fast, careers can go to different organizations. So just have fun, make the most of it, and um, you know, work hard. New York City, that's one of the toughest media markets in the world. How have you handled the hype surrounding you, surrounding the success that you've had this year? Just going into it and knowing that that's where you're headed towards. I just, uh, I think if you're honest, um, you know, that's the best policy. You know, if you're honest, you stay out of trouble. And, you know, makes your life a lot easier, you know. You know, the hype's great, but you still got to go out and perform every night and, um, you know, put on a show for the fans and um, play hard for your teammates and things like that. So at the end of the day, I'm just going to be honest and, um, you know, kind of just show the fans who I am, but, you know, keep keep my baseball life and my private life kind of separate and uh, I think to be successful in the New York media and kind of spotlight you got to do that. And outside of Derek Jeter what's your Yankee knowledge like? It's, I mean I, I got a great knowledge of sports I love sports my family my, my parents are sports you know fiends so um, 
man, there's just the history and, and things like that. It's just incredible. And I know the fans are passionate, and they should be because they got they got a great you know tradition and uh, you know a lot of you know unbelievable talents and Hall of Famers. So um, I've met a lot of you know diehard Yankees fans, and it's it's been a privilege.